In today's video, I'm gonna go over the process that I go through for washing my cars, more specifically the Porsche 911 GTS. You'll find a link to all the products and hardware that I use to clean my vehicles in the description of this video. So I think everyone has a slightly different process and how they go about this, but this is what's worked for me for the cars that I've owned. Uh, and this car is not ceramic coated, which probably is going to happen uh, because it makes a, a lot more work. So for me, I use a gas powered Ryobi pressure washer. I have a couple different wands. Uh, this one here, I actually have a specific wand. It's a shorty. And then I have a foam cannon attachment that I can put on. I usually use multiple buckets, but for this video, I only used one. And I the reason for this is because the other one is lost. I have no idea where it went. And I have a grit guard at the bottom so that obviously no dirt can get on the wash mitt. So I like to start with the wheels, uh, unless of course I'm doing like a quick wash before I'm going to an event or something. But I always start by rinsing the wheels first, and then I will apply whatever decontamination I'm going to use. Uh, I use Gion most of the time, uh, which will of course pull out the uh, iron deposits and make it easier to wash the wheels. Once that's complete, I rinse that off, and then I will go through and inspect to see if anything needs to be done on the wheels as far as spot cleaning. Once that's complete, I will rinse the wheel again and then use the agitation brush to go through and clean into each individual spoke. And you'll see here, even with the pressure washer and everything, the wheels just don't get clean without agitation. Once it's all agitated and I feel like it's been cleaned thoroughly, I'll go ahead and rinse it one more time and then I will move on to reinspection. You can see here that there's still more brake dust, so I actually had to do this a second time. Here's an example of a wheel that is nice and caked with brake dust. You know, it almost looks like I have matte wheels with how perfect the finish of brake dust is. Now, arguably the most satisfying part once the wheels are complete is I foam the entire car. Uh, you know, you can see here that it completely covers the car. I let this sit for a couple of minutes and then I go ahead and rinse it off. I do it a second time, and then that's when I will use the wash mitt to actually go through and hand wash the car uh, to make sure that it is nice and soaped up so that there isn't any chance of scratching. After everything is cleaned up with the sponge, I go through and rinse the car, and here it is all clean. Now it's time to dry it. Can do it by hand or use a blower. So I opt for using the blower. You can also do a hand dry, which I do a little bit at the end. Uh, don't touch the actual car, which looked like I almost did, but I did not. So you wanna go ahead and basically just chase the water to some sort of a channel or an exit. And you know you don't have to get this perfect because I'm gonna come through with a towel and kind of spot dry the different areas. And here I come with the giant towel, almost dropped it actually and basically just go through and very lightly, I just dry the car. So I'm not introducing any scratches or swirls. Um, this is a perfectly clean towel and I'm being very, very light with the application to dry uh, the paint. Now, if I had ceramic coating, I would almost not even have to do this because the water would actually just drip off as you're cleaning. Um, so quite honestly, it's probably a good reason to have a ceramic coating. Okay, here's the funniest thing about Porsche when you're washing them. If I go ahead and open the car and pop the trunk. Oh yeah. Okay, so there, <laughs> there's water all inside. Obviously it doesn't get in because of this giant rubber seal, uh, but if you want to do a perfect clean, you got to dry this and of course get some of the soap off. And then if I come over here to the driver or passenger door, oh yeah, there too. So. Whenever you are detailing a Porsche, because my GT4 had the same problem, um, you basically can get soap underneath the door seal. So that's my process on how I wash my cars. Um, I'm curious in the comments if you have a similar process, if you do something completely different. You know, uh, I know obviously if you don't have a power washer, you can use garden hose with different attachments. It works pretty well. Uh, but honestly, if you're serious about washing your car, I would highly recommend getting a pressure washer of some kind, uh, even electric if you prefer. Uh, we use this to wash our house as well, so it's plenty powerful. One thing to note, do not use a really targeted uh, nozzle when you're using the pressure washer because you could actually mar the paint. So as always, I appreciate you guys checking out these videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.